Hello everyone, welcome to round 11 once again of the Data Steel Masters 2023 in Vacancy Netherlands. And one of the most anticipated matches in this round uh, was Magnus Carlsen's game against Wesley Saw. Both players were on six points and they were going after uh, another back to yeah, another back was playing against Giri, uh, where they drew also Giri and other drew. And I was ex actually expecting fireworks from from these two, especially Carlsen playing white against Wesley. Normally Carlsen will go for or settle for a draw against Wesley when he plays, he plays black. But this time playing white, let's check it out uh, how, how the game happened. Carlsen started with d4. Wesley with knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, so the name is the Indian. Carlsen, normal c3, uh, sorry, e3. If you want to go into the ragu thing, you can go bishop g5 here. Right, if let's say you go uh, d5, c5, e5, e5, then e3. That has been the trend these days, especially with Gukesh. Right, Carlsen played e3, e5, knight e2. A3, takes on C3, takes on C3. This is the Robinstein variation of the Nimzo Indian. Takes on D4, takes on D4, takes on C4, takes on C4. So White has this IQP. And once you have the isolated queen on, White should go for the dynamic play. But here, knowing Magnus, Magnus always tries to go for the simplest of ways. Minimal advantage d5. Um, I don't like d5 actually. In the IQP, you go for dynamic play. It would have been nice to go, let's say, for example, queen f3. Okay. Attacking the knight. If bishop goes to b7 to, to protect the knight, then we have bishop d3. Of course, it's not possible to take that pawn because we have uh, queen takes b7. Now, if you play, if you play queen e7, for example, then Queen h3 is playable here. If rook, K, rook fd8, then rook a d1. Let's say h6 and put this back in d1. Yes. Put pressure on the king. Um, I like these kinds of positions where I'm attacking the king. But knowing Magnus, he will play d5. Okay, and not in Sapple here will be Kaspar's game against uh, Lev Sakis back in the day, in the, in the 80s. Where Kaspar went for bishop d3, rook c8, rook d1, queen h3, and knight e7, bishop g5, queen to g3. Kaspar sacrificed that pawn. Uh, typical in the IQP, sacrifice a d5 pawn. Yeah? You take d5 and bishop f5. There were a few pieces that can capture the pawn, the bishop. Yeah? We have the rook also attacking d5. But it was forced because if you capture where the bishop, for example, I would go bishop b5. Yeah. If you play rook to c7, then bishop takes f6. If you play queen takes f6, I would go queen takes e7 for sure. And if you play g takes f6, rook to d4. Yeah. Or maybe h4, h4, h5. If king h8, I take d5, e take d5, and you go for. Rook d4, rook d1, pressure on d5, and yeah, bad pawn structure. All right, but Magnus is Magnus. Uh, he went for the minimal advantage. Uh, he, he got rid of his IQP with the d5 push. Although I don't like this kind of position, Chase, Chase. Because it exchanges everything, Chase. Okay, Magnus was probably hoping. And uh, his hopes were on this one, like bishop pressure on those two dark squared pawns. Okay, but uh, I don't know. There's nothing there, yeah? I'm not sure. It, the pieces are limited. Okay, c8, queen a4, okay, knight a5. Queen f4 takes, change for c8. All Wesley has to do is to just exchange pieces. Starting with the rooks, knight into c6, of course, the knight on the rim is dim. Transfer it. a4, again, Carlsen pinning his hopes on this. Two pawns. 
27, king h2, king e7. And this is good to move for Resty because Carson was ready to go b4 there. So it stops b4 with the knight and queen. Knight also stops b8, no queen b8. Queen f3, Carson doesn't want that exchange on e5, I guess. Okay, queen e8, b3, Wesley does not allow b4. So queen stays, protects the back rank as well. A6, finally the king is safe. You now you have the space for the king, the Luft escapes clear from the king. Queen d5, okay, Carson's queen is centralized. The rest of the like, okay, let's exchange. Takes nothing much for white, you know. No, nobody can bother that knight on c6. No, no knight, square bishop, no knight. So e5, king f5, h5. Okay, putting your pawns in light squares. It should be two g6. Okay, sorry, pawns are opposite to the color of the opponent's bishop. Very basic. King e4, king e6. So protecting e5 because Magnus will try to go for bishop c3 here. Again, putting the pawns on light squares. F3, B5. No. Wesley only have one pawn to worry. That one in E5. But thanks to the knight. King control B5. No danger at all. G3, B4. All right. Wesley puts the pawn in B4 to time to B3. And then, all right. Okay. Simplify. A5. If Magnus tries to attack E5, then Wesley has knight C5. Maybe black will win in the end. Magnus is forced to play e5, knight e4, knight. Okay, Magnus, if Magnus takes the pawn, Wesley will take the other pawn. So bishop b4, knight e5 back, okay, g4, no problem, knight e2, attack to that pawn in h3, h4, knight e2, knight c1, takes, takes, knight c3, oh, sorry, bishop c3, okay, knight, nice, king. Doesn't matter whether they have to sacrifice because now this is a wrong square. Right? Wrong bishop. King d5, king takes h5, bishop, king c4. Okay, even if Magnus keeps it with uh, bishop e1, king b5, let's say you go all the way there, as so they will have this one. It will stay. Stay on a8. Even if you take that pawn. On a6, it doesn't matter. It cannot progress, you yeah? know? It's drawn. Stay there. Let's say, mm, push, mm, stalemate. Yeah, stalemate. Right. Okay, that was a nice hold by Wesley. Okay, after, okay, the game ended with king b4, bishop, check, and bear kings. So it was a draw. So Magnus uh, title hopes. Probably doomed with this draw. Well, Magnus and Wesley both have six and a half. Okay, both are going to hope that Wesley will win his game against Nuderbeck tomorrow. That's another exciting matchup tomorrow. If Wesley wins, he also has a chance to get the title. Then he's playing white. Okay, let's cheer for Wesley tomorrow. Hope he wins against Norderbeck. If Norderbeck holds, and then I guess it's Norderbeck's title after that. Yeah. So that was it. M Magnus and Westy with a draw. The Bear Kings left. So that's round number 11 for you. Thank you guys again for supporting our channel. Charles Max Chess and Charles Max Entertainment on Facebook and YouTube. This is Total Oliver. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.